Cheers, what it is and what it ain't, man. It's your boy Liquid Cash. And right now you're watching the YouTube series, The Power of Thought. Hey, listen, I started a YouTube series based on The Power of Thought, my book. And it's to create, you know, a group of like-minded people, bring us all together, that like reading, that like evolving, that like, you know, just educating ourselves on new things that we may not be privy to. You dig? I started a Facebook book club called the Power of Thought Book Club. Definitely join the book club and I'm gonna give y'all some gems and things that I, uh, books that I read that give me the mindset that I have today. You dig? So um, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna dissect my book, The Power of Thought. Think your way to a rich and prosperous life. It's your feelings and your thoughts that create abundance for you. Change your mind and you can change your life. And it's just that simple. Today, I'm going to break down this book, man. It's Motivation on Mondays, and I'm going to try to motivate and inspire some people. And I'm going to use my book, The Power of Thought, to help you gain everything you want out of life. And we're going to start from chapter one all the way down to chapter nine. There's nine chapters in this book. I like my information short and sweet, man. I got things to do. I got babies to kiss, and I got, you know what I mean, money to count. So I ain't got time to be sitting at home reading a 600-page book. So I gave you the information short and sweet, and I drop a lot of gems in this book that you can use in your daily life. So uh, definitely check it out. We're gonna start with the, we're gonna start with chapter one, all right? And we're gonna dissect a lot of things in this book that I was trying to convey. Might have went over some people's heads. If you got the book, you can follow along, and I'm gonna break down you know, different things that I feel that like should be highlighted in this book and uh, key parts about this book that I think you should want to definitely overstand. So we're going to get to it, all right? We're going to start off with chapter one. Don't overthink. Change would not come if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we see. Now, see, the thing about change, most people are scared of change. They scared of anything that's new. They, they, they're comfortable with doing the same thing over and over and over again. But see, what they don't understand is that's the one thing that's guaranteed in life and that's change. Nothing else is guaranteed in life but change. Either you're gonna change or the universe will create circumstances, situations, people, and events that force you to change. So you should never wanna shy away from changing or, or, or evolving or just growing because you want to grow you know what I mean you don't want to be the same you know and, and, and that's the thing about life man you have to always strive to evolve and that's what I'm always doing you know a lot of times that I go through life I, I grow my peers why because I'm doing more reading I'm searching for more knowledge where they may be still stuck on level one I'm moving up to level 10 you dig? And it's not that I don't want to hang with them no more. It's because we don't have different, we don't have the same views no more. You know, we don't see life in the same, you know, the, the same aspect anymore. So I just move forward and move on with my life. I don't leave them behind. I still, I'm still friends with them, but I still got to keep on growing and evolving. So if you got friends that's trying to keep you stagnant, you got people in your life that's trying to, you know, hold you down like the crab in the bucket syndrome. You gotta evolve and move away from those people that don't wanna grow with you. You dig? Don't be afraid to change. Change is the only thing that's guaranteed in life. So, always look for change and always be happy to change and evolve and to grow into somebody else. You know, and uh, don't leave your friends behind. Just grow and hopefully they grow with you. You dig? As I move forward, don't overthink things. That's very harmful to the human body. It causes stress, because stress is one of the leading cause of death. And that's a fact. Stress is a silent killer. Stress is the number one cause of death in the world. You know, a lot of people stress over, uh, you know, things that ain't even worth stressing over, you know what I mean? Just minor things. Don't major in the minors, you dig? I never major in the minors, I'm always focused on the end goal. I'm never stressing about things that happen in my life. 
You know, because at the end of the day, if the God blew breath in my lungs, anything else that uh, that I may go through in life is a plus. And anything, and anything that you may consider as a problem is not a problem. It's just a challenge, a situation, or an opportunity. It's just the way you look at it. How you, how it's the perspective on how you view things. So, don't look at anything as a problem. Look at it as a challenge, a situation, and an opportunity. And once you do that, you won't be stressing, man. Because who, who don't love a challenge? You know what I mean? I love a challenge. I love going through your life and you know, testing my capabilities and challenging myself because it's only going to make me better and be a better person. And like I said, stress is one of the leading causes of death. You don't want to stress about nothing because, you know, you live a short life if you just live life stressing and majoring in the minors. Let's keep on moving forward, you dig? And not stressing at all. Stay blessed and never stress, you dig? Overthinking could have you looking anywhere and everywhere for advice. And I know because it had me on Bourbon Street in New Orleans talking to a gypsy. Now check this out, man. I gotta keep it 100, 100 right now. Listen, if y'all ever went to New Orleans before, y'all know on Bourbon, Street, on Bourbon Street there's a lot of gypsies, right? And one day I was out there with a female that I was moving and grooving with, you know, a female of mine, and um, we was having a good time, enjoying life. And as she was, you know, probably shopping, going in stores and stuff like that, I was just walking on Bourbon Street and at the time, I seen a white, old, older lady, you know, standing, or matter of fact, sitting down on the corner. And she asked me to come over. She wanted to read my palm. And I said, okay, why not? You know, I got time to kill. She's, you know, my, you know, my lady's going around shopping and stuff like that. So I say, you know what? Let me do my thing and go talk to the gypsy. Anyway, fast forward. The gypsy told me everything I needed to hear and everything I wanted to hear. You know, because I was in a situation where I didn't want to talk to this female no more because I felt like she wasn't being solid as she claimed to be. So, you know, I just felt like we came to an end in our relationship. And even though we were still together. So at this point, I didn't know if I want to go right or left. And at this time, I wasn't as wise as I am. I wasn't as smart as I am. So anyway, the gypsy told me everything I needed to hear and everything I wanted to hear. And let me say this, in life, you're gonna have people that tell you certain things, but the, the, the only person that you need to listen to is yourself, your gut feelings or what you feel inside. You know, you can get counsel from somebody and you can get their opinions and get their advice, but ultimately you wanna to listen to yourself. You know what I mean? Because nobody's gonna have the answers that are better than you. You got the answers right inside of you. You just gotta to listen to your gut feelings. If your gut feeling tell you to move left, then go left, don't go right. My gut feeling was telling me to leave that situation alone and the gypsy just confirmed it. So I moved forward and I, you know, I end that relationship with that female and her life started to go downhill. My life started to go uphill. So it's clearly that I made the right decision. You know what I mean? So if you're in a relationship with somebody right now, you don't know if you want to be with them anymore. You don't know if the, 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 the love is there anymore. You know, go with your gut feeling, man. Whatever you feel it, you dig? It's, it's the right decision for you. Your feelings will never steer you wrong. Use your feelings as a roadmap to navigate through life. And trust me, you'll never get lost. Let's move forward. And um, have a thought, then make a decision. And now I wrote about that in my book, is that it's overthinking. You know, people suffer from overthinking. A lot of people overthink a lot of things. Now with me, I don't overthink nothing no more in life, man. I just have a thought and make a decision. It's simple as that. Whoever came with the phrase, life is hard, let's, you know what I mean? <laughs> he just wanted to plant a negative seed in our brain. Life isn't hard. Life is simple. It's pretty much easy. But we being complicated humans, we make life complicated. You dig? See, when I want to make a decision, it is simple as picking apple and oranges. Do I want to eat apple today or I want an orange today? And it's simple. It's just like that. It's that easy. Just have a thought and make a decision. You don't have to, you know, uh, make things complicated, you know? Do you want to go right or do you want to go left? Do you want to start a new business or do you want to get high, or you want to start, you know, get a job and just work a nine to five? Whatever you want to do, no decision is a wrong decision because if you make a decision and it don't pan out the way you want it to be, 
You should be thankful and grateful because you can now look at what you don't want and focus on and turn your back on it and then focus on what you do want. And that's the key is to, you know, look at life and, and from a different vantage point and focus on the things that you want. Don't worry about the things that you don't want. And when you make a decision and it don't pan out the way you want it to pan out, it's just the universe creating obstacles for you to focus on the end goal and whatever that may be, whatever you want, whatever you desire, you dig? So you always want to stay focused. Keep the main thing the main thing. No decision is a wrong decision. Life is not hard. Let's not complicate life. Life is pretty much simple. It's pretty much simple, but you have to make the decision because ain't nobody else is going to make it for you. You know what I mean? Life is a, success is, is a decision away. The faster you make a decision and focus on what you want, the faster you'll be on the journey to success. You dig? So let's move forward. Be mindful with your choices of words. Be careful what you ask for because you might just get it. And that's the truth. The power is in the tongue. The Bible tells us that. You want to always be mindful with your choices of words. Words cast a spell. So you want to use your words wisely. Like this cup says, you want to keep it simple. Don't speak of things that you don't want to happen. You know what I mean? Don't talk negativity. Don't speak negative words into your existence. Don't say, I'm a try. Don't say, I can't. I don't use these words in my vocabulary. The other day, a female texted me, one of my friends, she asked me, am I still pursuing music? I say, no, I'm not pursuing music, I'm doing music. I am music, you know what I mean? I'm not pursuing it, this is something that I'm doing. You dig? And, 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 and that's how I, I view anything in life, you know? I, 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 I embrace who I am and I execute on anything that I put my mind towards to do. And that's the thing, you have to set your mind towards something and execute it, you know? Character, you have to have character. Character is following through on a decision long after the excitement of the decision in the moment has passed. You dig? I'm gonna repeat that. Character is following through on a decision long after the excitement of the moment has passed. You dig? A lot of y'all, you know, want instant gratification. If you don't get what you want right away, you end up not wanting to do it because you don't get to receive the information or is you don't receive the results you want right away. You gotta understand, delayed gratification. Things take time to manifest into your reality. So you have to always be mindful of that, you dig? Delayed gratification. So character is following through on a decision long after the excitement of the moment has passed. Have character, follow through on what you wanna do. And also keep the main thing the main thing, which is the power of thought. Your thoughts create your reality, that's it. If you think negative, you get negative. You think positive, you get positive. It's simple. It ain't, it ain't rocket science, man. And we gonna dissect this book. And if you don't have the book, you need to get it so you can follow along with me. And we can dissect the book together. The power of thought and I expand on some of the views and the values and the gems that's inside this book. I gave you the game, you dig? The things that I use to get everything I have today in my life. You can see I'm in, I'm in my beautiful home, man. I'm just chilling, you know, I'm in my robe. I'm relaxed, I'm comfortable, you know what I mean? Got my Cartier frames on and I'm just living life, you know what I mean? But I'm not taking the game and holding it to myself. I'm sharing it with you. How I got everything I have today, I use the power of thought, you dig? And I'm sharing it with you, so definitely pick up the book. If you continue to think like you've always thought, you continue to get what you've always got. What you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. If you like contents like content like this, and you want to definitely be a part of my mastermind club, join my book club on Facebook, The Power of Thought Book Club. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Every Monday, I'm going to drop a video. It's Motivation Mondays, The Power of Thought. Cheers with yours truly, Liquid Cash.